Now I'll tell you something. I had a roommate when I was growing up in the, uh, what? I just heard somebody say tequila, whiskey, vodka. Hey, listen, I call the shots here. No rim shot on that one. It's too good. It's too good. Well, I did have a roommate. His name was Monty Hall. Now, Monty Hall loved the card trick that you actually just saw. And he was uh, adamant about trying to figure out how the trick was done. Well, this is good. We should make more of it. And <laughs> he tried to bribe me and he tried to do everything possible to get me to talk. And me being a magician, I was tight-lipped. <laughs> Never told him. And then one day, he opened up the garage door and there was an Amana radar range for me. Who does that? <laughs> Monty Hall does that. Well, at that, that moment, I was inspired to make the greatest game show in history. And I have a mock-up of it right here for us to play. Now, <laughs> I gotta tell you, it, it's, it's, really, it's really a lot of fun to play. And uh, I've got it. Well, let's just, uh, I'll let you look at it. And now it's time to play Let's Fake a Deal with Richard Preston. Ah, uh, yes, it's a working title. It's called Let's Fake a Deal. The title is almost there. And here's how it works. This is a huge set. This is the mock-up I'm going to be doing for uh, the Big Three Networks next week. I'm pitching it. If the Big Three don't take it, then maybe PBS. Either way, I think it's going to be a hit. So imagine if these were doors big enough to like fit a car behind. Some lucky spectator would pick a door and just think how they would feel if they had won just a brand new $4,000 Cadillac. That would be something. So, so we have door number one, door number two, and door number three. And I, and I designed this microphone by myself. And it's just a prop, but uh, nonetheless, I think, it's, I think this microphone is gonna be a big hit one day. I no idea, but I think it will be. But anyway, uh, let's have somebody uh, pick a door here. Uh, let's take a look. Um, somebody who hasn't been uh, helping yet. How about Kevin down there? Uh, Kevin, uh, no, uh, let's, let, let's do this the proper way. Let's have everybody help Kevin pick out the right door. So. Seeing some twos. Who said number four? All right, Kevin. <laughs> what door would you like, Kevin? <laughs> uh, I, I could have swore you were saying three. You changed your mind? Yes. Uh, what made you change your mind? The audience. The audience convinced you. Well, let's find out what you didn't win. Behind door number three is... $10,000 in cash. That's right, $10,000 in cash. I would have mailed it to you. What are stamps, four cents? No problem. I'll just put these over here. How about door number two? Oh, look, it's a vacation. It's, an, it's a 30 day vacation to Hawaii, all expenses, $850 value. <laughs> now let's find out what you did win. A box. You won a box of rice aroni, the San Francisco treat. Now with Mmm, beef flavor. 
check your weekly Piggly Wiggly <laughs> circular coming out this Sunday. You're welcome. Uh, Kevin, you look a little, uh, you look a little up upset that you didn't get the big prizes. Um, I tell you what, I don't, like, I don't like anybody being unhappy. Let's just get this off of here. It's a, it's a, let's change the mood. Kevin, I'm going to do a card trick for you. Okay, I just want, I just want you to be happy. Just want you to be happy. Let's, uh, let's do this. This is really cool. I just take the cards out of the box and look at this. This is so cool. This is so cool. Watch this. Okay, deck playing cards. You ready? It's a tiny little box. How the cards get out of the box? <laughs> Loud noises, maybe? Does that make you happy? Loud noises? Uh, you know, this is called, it's called a Russian shuffle. It's a Russian shuffle. You know why we call it the Russian shuffle? Because it's one card Russian right after another. <laughs> here's, here's the Michigan shuffle. Oops, Michigan. <laughs> oh, you'll use it. Deck playing cards. Uh, Kevin, you just say stop whenever you like. And that, oh, that's, and you know what? Let's do it more fair than this. You just pick any card you like. You say what it is, and that'll be your card. Three of hearts. Three of hearts, there it is. Three of hearts. Okay, since we are distant from each other, where are you from, Kevin? Las Vegas. Las Vegas. It's a nice town. Is Frank still there? All right, Sammy? No. Oh, all right. Well, I guess that spoils that. Just tell me what you would like written on the card. Uh, Bob, D-O-B. A palindrome. <laughs> Bob. If you don't know what a palindrome is, watch this. This is magic. Bob, Bob. <laughs> Remember the cognitive ability test. <laughs> Never forget that. All right, Bob, let's lose your card into the void of magic. Just uh, put it right here where I absolutely have no idea where it's at. And as it zooms through the air, your card lands in my pocket. Yep, that's your card. Look, magic's based on trust. You don't, you don't trust me yet. Look, that's your card. Bob. Yeah, now, look, uh, I tell you what, I'll do it again. Look, we'll start it on the top. I'll show you the shuffle that I learned in India. Called the Hindu shuffle. Very cool, very chic. Your card is now leaping through the air. Look, empty handed, and it has landed in my pocket. Right here, look. Is that your card? No. Oh, obviously, it doesn't have Bob on it. What happened? Something happened here. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, you know what? You guys don't know this, but Bob, not Bob, but Kevin, <laughs> you're still playing. Let's fake a deal. You can let me finish the trick and you'll experience joy, or you can have what's inside the box of riceroni. Experience joy or have what's inside the box. It's up to you entirely. Nobody wants joy. 
ever inside the box. This is the first time the box has ever been opened by human's hands since it has left the factory. And as we shake it out, there is a folded card. Look, it's a new card. And it matches yours perfectly. Bob, 